Hello. Hey, hello. Hello, Claudia. Hi. It's the first time I see you. No. <laughs> no, yes. Yes. How is that your last name, Deodanes? Deodanes, yes, it's my last name. Where is that last name from? Mm, but I I don't know. I I um car como se dice. Look for, say, look for look for look for my east uh, oh, the east family, your, your family tree yes you yes, search, and search for your family tree uh -huh. yes and i don't know really I don't, yes i i think i think um that my last name is is, is mal escrito i don't know really misspelled Yes. Mm, probably, or it's a variation of uh -huh, of another. Or or my or my last name is very is very Salvador Salvadorian. Mm, could be, could also be. That's another reason. Yes. Mm -hmm, sounds good, because, but it sounds very nice. It's the first. Thank you. Yeah, but the first I, time. I, but I I I I don't I don't like it because. Uh, Usually, the people um, pronounce pronunciation D E and O is separado. Deo danés, son Yes. Ah, okay. But yes, it's. I mean, yes, it's not really. <laughs> Thank it's you. Yes, very common. It's good. That sounds nice. Okay, <laughs> um, what do you do, Claudia? What is your occupation? Um, I am an industrial engineer. Okay, good. Yes. You work uh, on your on your own, or you work for a company? Uh, I I work for a company, a bank. Okay, good. Bank. Okay, good. That's nice. Okay, good. Hello, Arely. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Hi, thank you. Okay, good. Excellent. You? I'm all right. I cannot. I cannot complain. Uh, at least I'm. I'm alive. I'm happy. <laughs> I am here. Excellent. Okay. Yes, that's good. Okay, and we have uh, Mario. How are you, Mario? <clears throat> Probably it's not completely connected yet, maybe. Okay. Okay, uh, Claudia, have you been uh, working on the platform? Are you updated? No, no, I, I, I don't work work in the, pla in the platform. Okay. Well, uh, we have to, let me see, we are now, I will show you right now the platform. We are in section three. Okay. 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 And by tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow is the the fifty percent of the course. Okay. Then uh, we need to have the three sections completed. Okay. And the and the midterm exam probably for Saturday and Sunday. So on Monday you have to finish everything. I mean, the idea is to not to have all the the activities at the end of the course, you know, to so that you can continue with the other with the other course, right? Because they they finish, I guess we fin we will finish this one. Let me see. I guess it's going to be in two weeks. If I am not wrong, this is November fifth, the nineteenth. Nineteen November nineteenth. November nineteenth. Yes. Okay. And then uh, I don't know if they are going to have another chance to probably one more, and then you we will have to go quickly with the uh, with the evaluations. You have to present the documents to begin the other course. So by the nineteenth, you have to finish all the platform and get eighty percent of the grade. Okay. <clears throat> So if okay. you have, but if you have any questions, you know, I am in the chat or 
here you can ask in the during the class you can also participate and ask questions about the platform and i don't think you're going to have problems but it, it takes some time right and you need to invest some time in the platform okay now let's see okay we have okay this is where this is where we are in this moment okay we are practicing with the a one and ones demonstrative pronouns these that those which one and we're gonna check this one It's a little slow in this moment. Okay. Oh my God. We have no access. I think that, but this is a technical problem sometimes with the platform. So probably you can experience also in your house sometimes because they are having problems internationally with this platform. Okay. Okay, in this moment we have in this lesson, participants will listen to the stress in order to improve pronunciation. We did this yesterday. We always review the last topic. Okay, so here we have, just let me share the computer sound with you here and here. Hello to all of you. I want you to pay attention to the stress given to the important words when speaking. In this lesson, participants will listen to sentence stress in order to improve pronunciation. Sentence stress. Notice that the important words in a sentence have more stress. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. The idea is for you to listen to the audio and then repeat. Practice as many times as needed. Hello to all of you. I want you to pay attention to the stress given to the important words when speaking. In this lesson, participants will listen to sentence stress in order to improve pronunciation. Sentence stress. Notice that the important words in a sentence have more stress. Okay, good. Now, uh, Arely, can you please repeat those words like you did yesterday? Excuse me. Excuse me. They are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Okay, good. Now, Claudia. Excuse me. They they are perfect. <clears throat> I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. They're not very attractive. Okay, Mario. I don't know if you can hear us. Yes, you can. Excuse me, they are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Okay, thank you very much. All right, so then. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. The idea is for you to listen to the audio and then repeat. Practice as many times as needed. Okay, so then you have the, the video also, and then you can practice many more times. Okay, the next one we have, in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with <clears throat> adjectives, okay, by expressing preferences, adjectives. Which one do you prefer? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. Which one do you prefer? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. 
It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no. That's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girls are talking about their preferences. In the next class, we will study how to express preferences and comparisons. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. Which one do you prefer? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no. That's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girl... Okay. So here they are using the things that they prefer. Let's say, look, these jackets are really nice. Okay, this lady. Then which one, okay, which jacket do you prefer? And then this girl, this lady here, says, I like the wool one better. Okay, this is the wool one. Okay, the wool one, why? It looks warmer. Okay. Now, questions in this one, two, three, four, five sentences? Yes. Uh-huh. Um, what's um, what the mean? word wool? Wool. Wool is a material. Okay, mm. the material. For example, oh, okay. uh, uh, this one is leather. Okay, black leather. And this one is wool. The wool comes from the animal, the sheep. Oh. Do you know the sheep? No. Do you remember Heidi? The cartoons, mm. Heidi? No. Yes. Okay, okay, wool. And then the, the Heidi comes from the, from the wolves. Okay, the wool, I mean the sheep. The sheep is an animal. And then they get the wool from that animal. Okay. Which and one? The other word is warmer. Warmer is not hot. For example, today, how's the weather in your house? Cold, ah, okay. or, or, cold or cool? Cold. 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 And then, if you are cold, what do you do? You put a sweater. Yes. Okay. And with the sweater, you feel warm. Warm. Free. No, cold. warm. A little, a little bit hot. A little bit hot. Less than hot. Oh, okay. Between, between cool and hot. What is between? What is it between? You have hot and then you have cold. And warm is in the middle. Okay. What is warm? Mm. Mm. Hot. You cold. feel you feel good. Uh, you feel good. Uh, oh. Comfortable. Com okay, comfortable. Uh -huh. You feel comfortable, warm. Okay. If it is cold, you close the window, you close the door, you put a sweater, and then mm. it's warm. Okay. If you open the window or the doors, the wind blows, and then you then you are cold. Okay. So that is warm. And then when it says warm, eh, but then you have also, let me see. Where's the chat? You also have warm. Warm. And then you have warmer. Okay, warmer is 
something like when you say more warm. Okay. Like más calientito, right? Mm -hmm. Then that's the one. Good. What else? Then this one, it says, well, I like the leather one better. Okay. In this case, better is the best. more. Mm -hmm. More. Okay. You say more. Okay, uh, Arely, tell me, tell me two movies, the name of two movies that you like. Uh, I like uh, Pretty Woman. Mm -hmm. um, Day by Independence. Independence Day. In, in the Independence Day. Pretty Woman and Independence Day. Yes. Okay. Which one do you like better? I like. Um, I like. Uh -huh. I like. Um, the one. Independence Day. No, Pretty Woman. I, then you say, I like. I like. Pretty woman. Pretty woman. Better. Ah, okay. Better. Okay. But then you say, for example, I like Independence Day and I like Pretty Woman. But I like Pretty Woman better. I like Pretty Woman better. Mm -hmm. Then you prefer. You prefer the Pretty Woman more mm -hmm. than Independence Day. Okay. okay. For example, I, I can say I like uh, I like Pizza Hut and I like Domino's Pizza, but I like Pizza Hut better. Ah, okay. I prefer the other one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. But okay, those, this is you know we are talking here preferences. Why? Which one do you prefer? Okay. If you ask me, I like pizza. Okay. But I like Pizza Hut better. It's necessary all the words better. Uh, when you choose one, yes. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, or you can say, and then you can say, why do you like Pizza Hut better? Why do you like Pizza Hut better? Because it is, a, let's say it is what? It is more delicious. Okay. Uh, it is more probably, I don't know, it, it has more it's cheese. Did it what? What do you say? It is more delicious. It is more delicious, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Remember that when you talk about preferences, is is it is something that is your opinion? Okay, so it's your opinion and. If you think that a Pizza Hut is more delicious, it's more delicious, right? But other people will say, no, no, I think, uh, the, what is the other one? Um, I forgot it. The other one that is... Papa Jones. Papa Jones, that's it. Papa Jones. <laughs> yes, and by then, I guess, but no, I like Papa Jones too. Okay, yes. then, and probably, probably, I think I like Papa John's better than Pizza Hut. Yes. Uh -huh. If you com if I compare, right? If I think about it, if I remember the the taste, the flavor, then I say yes, Papa John's is more it's more tasty. Tiene como más gustito, right? It's more tasty than it's tastier, tastier than than Pizza Hut. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you see you are Have talking you about say chili. Chill, I mean, chill, the red, uh, let's say red, uh, hot pepper. Hot pepper. Hot pepper, okay. yes. Mm -hmm. That's one, say chili. What else? Yeah, yes, they, ha they, add, they add, you know, the extra hot sauce. Mm -hmm. What else? Okay, so then this is better, right? 
is more stylish than the wool one. Okay, any other? Okay, look at this one. There is no price tag. Okay, what is tag? Price tag. I don't know. When you go to the when you go to the shop, and if you want, uh -huh, when you want to know the price, yes, uh -huh, Mario, then you see the tag. Then you you look at the price. Okay, in the tag. Uh -huh. Como la colita, right? Uh -huh. Etiqueta. Yes. How much is this jacket? Then you see the price. Would you like to try it on? Okay, would you like to try it on? Okay, it would be like probarsela, right? right? Try um, on. Try, try on. Uh, it, if it is singular, jacket. Si son okay. zapatos, si son zapatos, it's plural. Once. Try, try them on. Try them. Um. Okay, try them. Yeah, you're gonna use this one. Try them mm -hmm. on, yeah. in plural. Okay, try it on, singular. Okay, for example, a blouse, una blusa, try it on. A dress, try it on. Um, let's say it, uh, Try it on. Uh -huh, try it on. If it is shoes, shoes, try them on. Try them on. Uh, pants or jeans, try them on. The glasses, okay, like the glasses, try them on. Okay, if it is plural, them. If it is singular, it. Okay, try it on. For example, when you buy a blouse, what do you do? I try it on. Okay, la pruebo. When I buy shoes, I try them on. When I buy pants, I try them on, All right? If it is a jacket, try it on. And then the woman says, oh no, that's okay, but thanks anyway. But look at the price, $499. Yo compro cuatro de estas. Yes. <laughs> $2,000, no problem, I pay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, so I imagine it's very expensive, right? Very yes, expensive. Very expensive. Mm -hmm. But I think, you know, because it's the material, right? You no, know, la lana y el cuero are really expensive. Yes. Okay, so they have the wool, the wool and the leather. Okay, so they are very expensive. Okay, any other question? No. no. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, now we have Okay, say so what are these things made of? Identify each one, use the words from the list. Okay, uh, I will give you two minutes. Okay, two to three minutes. And then you have to put these words in this, in these numbers, okay? Cotton, gold, leather, okay? <clears throat> Do it individually and in three minutes lo hacemos en la, revisamos la respuesta. But first, individually, you answer, you just put this one, right? Si no están seguros, adivinen, no problem, okay? Okay. And then we check it together.
<clears throat> okay, finish. Yes. What do you have in the first one? The plastic. Okay, a plastic bracelet. And the number two? A gold ring. A gold, a gold ring. Uh -huh. a, a gold, gold ring. A gold ring. Gold ring. Okay, and the number three? A uh, silk tie. A silk, uh -huh. silk, tie, tie. And the next one? Cotton. Uh, wool. Cotton. Wool. Mm, wool, wool, yes. Yes, wool. Okay. Uh -huh. Wool socks. Sock. Uh -huh. Wool socks. Number five? Lady. Leather. Leather. Leather jacket. Mm -hmm. Yes. Number six? Silver. Uh, not the six, this no. one? Uh, no, no, no. Oh. A cotton shirt. A cotton. Mm -hmm. A cotton shirt. Cotton. Cotton, cotton shirt. Mm -hmm. The earrings? Silver earrings. Silver, silver earrings. Earring. Uh -huh. Silver, silver, silver. Okay, here, silver. Okay, and the, the colibri boots. Rubber boots. Rubber. 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 Rubber is this material, right? Rubber. Mm -hmm. Remember plastic and rubber. Okay. Rubber. This is like, like ule, right? Rubber. Okay, now let's check. And the answers here, you will have uh, the bracelet. Where's the bracelet? We don't have a bracelet. Plastic. Oh, yes, yes, this one. Right? Plastic. The ring. Gold. Gold. The tie. Yeah. Tie. Silk. 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 Yes. Yes. Silk, the socks, wool, 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 wool. yes, wood, jacket, leather, leather, okay, shirt, cotton, 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 earrings, silver, 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 and the boots, rubber, 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 rubber. rubber. Rubber boots. Okay. Uh, sometimes when you write it, they give you the options, right? Plastic, gold, silk, wool, leather, cotton, silver with capital letter or no capital letter, small case, and you can use rubber or rubber, with capital letter or with small case. Okay, you see all of them are correct. Are the material. Uh-huh, exactly. This is what the materials that objects are made of. For example, cars are made of what? Cars are made of iron, right? Like hierro, okay? Iron, plastic, leather, uh, what else? Cotton. Yes, uh -huh, yes, and you can find cotton also in the, in the cars, probably uh, rubber, 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 so uh -huh. Then these are the materials that you can find in your car. Uh, for example, the oh, glass, glass also in the cars, right? All the materials that you have. For example, in the in the headsets, okay, the headsets you have plastic. plastic. Uh, mm -hmm. you, you have also rubber. Okay, rubber in the cables. Uh, what else? 
probably you can find some uh, some metal, right? Probably how do you call this lead, el plomo. Sometimes, uh, where is it? What else? Lead and in the shirts, the shirts, sometimes cotton, nylon, uh, what else? Uh, probably some plastic, right? Is synthetic, right? Synthetic uh, fiber. So these are materials, okay? Like you said, this is um, materials. What are these things made of? The que están hechas estas cosas, right? What are the things made of? For example, what is your house? What is your house made of? What is, if it is singular, what is your house made of? My house is made of bricks, ladrillos, bricks, uh, probably cement, glass, what? I iron. Iron, yes, iron, wood, uh, what else, wood? some uh, plastic, you can find the plastic in some houses. Uh, what else? Glass. Glass, Gla huh? Madera. Wood. Wood. Uh -huh, wood. For example, when you talk about, it's similar to wool, but this one is wood. 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 W. Uh, yeah, wood and wool. Oh, oh okay. Mm -hmm. You see, wood with D, madera, wool with L, then you have the lana. The difference is the D and the L. Yes, and how you have a uh, concrete bricks, uh, ladrillos, right? Bricks. There you have bricks. Then you also have cement. Uh, probably um, plastic, glass, glass for the windows, uh, wood. Some areas are made of plastic, uh, PVC, right? Rubber too. In the joints and las juntas, they put rubber. Okay. And that's it. So these are, you know, how to talk about different materials, right? Different materials. Aluminium. You can find aluminium too. Um, what else? Copper. El caucho. El copper que está es. El rubber is similar to caucho. Uh, I think uh, they, in English, right? They they use it like, like like when we say ule. I think it's more compact, but that's the way they use copper, like the cobre in los in los alambrados, right? Copper, gold. Which one? Gold. Gold. Sí. Gold. Sí. Gold. Yes. Gold. Gold. In the in los alambrados, right? In the electric things. Uh, Algunas veces. Mm -hmm. Yes, they use it too for the electric parts. Yes. Okay. So you see, these are materials, right? Materials, vocabulary mm -hmm. for materials that we can use for in the house, in your cars, uh, for the clothes. Okay. Uh, let me see what else. What else? What else we have? And then you have also here the cotton, gold, leather, plastic, wool, silver, silk, and rubber. 
Okay, so then these are the components, right? The materials that we use to construct something. Other one is lead. Lead is plomo. 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 Okay, eh, depende de los contextos, va a encontrar la palabra lead y alguien le va a decir que significa lead, que se pronuncia lead. Y las dos pronunciaciones son correctas, lead and lead. But the, the meaning is different. Okay? When you say lead, eh, le puedo poner en paréntesis the pronunciation in Spanish. Lead is the metal, right? The metal. Lead. Uh -huh. lead. Lead is the metal, plomo. Mm, okay. If you, if you say lead, something like this, a pronunciation, lead is bear. <coughs> bear. <coughs> bear. Uh -huh. That que viene de liver. Liver. Okay. Un líder guía, right? So when you say lead, is guiar, llevar, right? Something. So that is lead. The difference is lead and lead. Okay. Pero el contexto ayuda, right? Because yeah. if you say, if you say, for example, oh, he is the, he leads, he leads the class. He leads the group. Okay? No, mm. he, led, he leads the group. No, he leads the group. El guía el grupo. El liderea, I think, something like that. Right? So he leads the group. Mm -hmm. Okay. No problem? Yeah, no problem. Leo speak. It speaks uh, is 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 foco lead lead sorry lead puedes eh, bueno en la oración es que se van haciendo esos tipos de, de para entender porque lead es como foco lead de oh. ah but that's that's only one e ah. lead mm -hmm. lead exactly lead. Ahí solo va con una E. Right, and then you say the other one is leader, uh, lead. Lead. Pero es, es bueno que los, lo tenga, uh, uh, traiga el tema because the pronunciation is similar. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. The light, for example, if, now if you go to, to uh, the hardware store, a una ferretería, you will find it says, luces LED. Okay, they say LED lights, or oh, in LED. the car, in the cars too, for the cars, right? Yes. But LED, uh -huh, LED is the is a, a special class or type of lights, mm -hmm. and it's that is with one L, E D, but the pronunciation is similar to plomo, LED. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes, that's correct. Thank you. Okay, what else? Okay, if you see, this is, you know, when we're talking about materials for doing things, right? So then we have a... Then remember that you have the biodegradable, okay, bio, biodegradable uh, materials too, right? You know, like plants and stuff, that if they are natural. Okay, now that we finish this one. <clears throat> Let's say by the end of this lesson, we we'll comprehend the use of comparative adjectives, okay? Remember, we have warmer, better, okay? Warmer is more warm, okay? Better is more good but it's not correct to say more good in English. You say better, okay? Now, 
let's watch the video and listen to this explanation. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Hi everyone, as I told you last class, we will talk about how to express preferences in English as well as to compare. Let's see. Preferences. Comparisons with adjectives. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. Which one do you like more? I like the leather one more. <clears throat> that one is cheaper than the wool one. This one is nicer than the wool one. The leather jacket is prettier than the wool one. It looks bigger than the wool one. It's more stylish than the wool one. Spelling. Cheap. Cheaper. Nice. Nicer. Pretty. Prettier. Big. Bigger. To express preferences in English, we may say, I prefer, I like. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. When we want to compare, we use the adjective in its comparative form. We use adjective plus er plus than. Small, smaller than. This dress is smaller than the other one. I recommend for you to study the adjectives in English in its comparative form, so you're able to compare anything you want. I also want you to work with this, cheap, old, and new. These are adjectives. Find out its comparative form and make comparative sentences using these three adjectives. Write them down in our discussion box. Okay. By the end. I will play it again. Que tomen nota de las preguntas que tengan y luego lo discutimos, right? Then we talk about it. Eh, pay attention to the comparisons, okay? Better, cheap, cheaper, old, older, new, newer. And after we can talk about it. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Hi everyone, as I told you last class, we will talk about how to express preferences in English as well as to compare. Let's see. Preferences. Comparisons with adjectives. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. Which one do you like more? I like the leather one more. That one is cheaper than the wool one. This one is nicer than the wool one. The leather jacket is prettier than the wool one. It looks bigger than the wool one. It's more stylish than the wool one. Spelling. Cheap. Cheaper. Nice. Nicer. Pretty. Prettier. Big. Bigger. To express preferences in English, we may say, I prefer, I like. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. When we want to compare, we use the adjective in its comparative form. We use adjective plus er plus than. Small, smaller than. This dress is smaller than the other one. I recommend for you to study the adjectives in English in its comparative form, so you're able to compare anything you want. I also want you to work with this, cheap, old, and new. These are adjectives. Find out its comparative form and make comparative sentences using these three adjectives. Write them down in our discussion box. Adjective plus ER plus than. Okay, questions? For example, look at the, um, the spelling. You say cheap, cheaper. Okay, this, this ER it means more. 
Okay, when you talk about cheap. Barato. Uh -huh. Say cheap. And then you say cheaper. Okay, cheaper equals more cheap. Okay, but this is not correct in English. Okay, the correct form is cheaper, cheap, cheaper. Okay, for example, you have a, a let's see, um, the telephones. How much is, a, let's say, a Galaxy cell phone? Give me a, give me a price, it doesn't matter, not the best expert, just an idea. How much is a Galaxy? $100. $100, okay. And how much is a, I don't know, maybe a Nokia? Uh, $40. Okay. The Galaxy is $100. The Nokia is 40. Which one is cheaper? Nokia. Galaxy, more uh, cheap. Uh, Nokia. 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 Uh -huh. Nokia. Nokia. Okay, Nokia is cheaper than Galaxy. Okay, because we said that Nokia is uh, 40, okay, and the Galaxy? 100. 100. Okay, so we have 100 here. There you go. Okay, so Nokia is cheaper than Galaxy. The opposite is... Is Galaxy? Galaxy is, is more expensive. expensive. Ah, okay. Expensive. Very good. More expensive than? Than Nokia. Than Nokia. Okay, good. Now, you see, we changed the... Then we changed the adjective expensive for the adjective cheaper. Okay? because we are now expressing the opposite, okay? It's more expensive than Nokia. Mm -hmm. The Galaxy is more expensive than the Nokia. Uh, you can say, for example, um, let me see. In me this see. case, uh -huh. in this case, um, it's incorrect use more in which case uh, the fill center yes mm -hmm. okay mm. in this case no okay you never use that one it's correct when you say galaxy is more expensive mm -hmm. because okay because here if you see, if you see here, for example, we have a cheap as monosyllable, monosyllable, okay? And then if you say it's monosyllable, then you say cheaper. And when you use expensive is three syllables, expensive, okay, okay. beauty, okay. Full. Mm -hmm. Okay, comfortable, and then you only, say mm -hmm. only 
add air when uh, is monosyllable. Uh -huh. Monosyllable or some, some bisyllable, uh, two syllables. Pretty. Ah, okay. Pretty. Thank you. Okay. Uh, aquí en esta, de esta hay exceptions, right? But when it's three syllables, it's more. More mm -hmm. beautiful, okay? For example, you mean it's stylish. Stylish. Uh -huh. you, don't say, you don't say stylisher, right? More stylish. Okay? So what okay. is mon monosyllable, only ER. Okay? Y, y hay otra regla, right? For example, chip. You see consonant, vowel, vowel, consonant. Yes. Then only mm. chipper. Oh, uh, uh -huh. But if you see big, is consonant, vowel, consonant. Mm -hmm. Y la terminación es consonant, vowel, consonant, then you have a double G. Okay. okay. And when, but it, si la terminación es consonant, con, uh, vowel, vowel, consonant, no. No double P. Dictongo. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. It's a kind of, uh, uh, yes, it's kind of, kind of that. Yes, big, bigger. All right. So then you have it looks big, bigger. Mm -hmm. So these are the rules, and then the rest is the same. Okay, this is for the comparative. And look also, cheaper than. Cheaper este than. dan, dan toda la vida lo van a ver junto a una comparación. Okay. Cheaper than, nicer than, uh -huh. prettier than, más bonito que, bigger than, stylish, more stylish than, always, right? Mm -hmm. They have this one, okay? And this case is different because you only say, Eh, me gusta más. Which one okay. do you like better? Mm -hmm. Ahora, si le pone el complemento, yes. I like this blouse better than that blouse. I like the, la I like the white blouse better than the black blouse. Entonces, ahí si la hace completa la oración, then you're going to use that. But if you don't, if you only see the, if you have a, a yellow, a yellow blouse and a blue la, blouse, which one do you prefer? I like the yellow one. The yellow one better. Better. When you say I like the yellow one better, it's que me gustan las dos, but I like the yellow one better. Okay. I give you another example. Uh, I like, uh, for example, um, you have a pink blouse and a blue blouse. Which one do you prefer? Cualquiera puede responder, no problem. Pink blouse, blou uh, blue blouse. I like mm -hmm. blouse one better. No, no one, because you say the pink blouse. Oh, okay. Or you can I say that like I like the pink one. I like the pink one, uh, blouse. No blouse, because you say one. No. Okay, okay, I like the pink one better. Mm -hmm. Cuando dice better, ahí me está diciendo a mí que le gustan las dos, pero la pink le gusta más. Ah, okay. Y si usted lo dice, um, I like the pink one, está diciendo que solo esa le gusta. Ah. Okay, eso se sobreentiende, right? Because it, it's uh, like in, implied. Say, so, I like the pink one. Mm, me gusta la rosada. Mm -hmm. That's it. But, but when you say, mm, I like the pink one better. No necessary specific uh, the blue. Mm -hmm. No, because in the other one, say, no, nah, we're going to say, I like the pink one better. Okay, you eliminate automatically the blue one. Okay. And if you say, I like the pink one, you don't even mention the blue. You say, not a blue, no, just pink. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then this is how you, you're gonna use. Then you're talking about preferences, comparatives, and then uh, and then use cheap, cheap, cheaper, nice, pretty, and big. Now, the key, the clave here is what? <laughs> 
the, uh, the key is la clave, right? The key is... Adjective. Uh, exactly, right? The adjectives. Okay, because here with the adjectives, we can use fact, uh, pretty, as the thing, uh, tall, short, uh, big, uh, small, hot. Uh, what else? We have um, warm, warm, uh -huh. cold, cool. Oops, sorry, sorry, it's enough. It's no. cool. cool, with double O, not double L. Okay, so you have fat, fatter. Okay, the weapon is a mythos, but in comparative. Fat, fatter. Okay, pretty, prettier. Thin, thinner. Tall, taller. Short, shorter, big, bigger, okay, small, smaller, hotter, warmer. What else? Colder. Colder. Uh, cooler. Mm -hmm. Cooler. There you go. Okay. And then you can compare people. Okay, my my uh, let's say my my sister is. Taller than me. Uh, my brother is shorter than my sister. Okay. Uh, my best friend is fatter, fatter than me. Okay. Uh, you can say Michael Jordan is taller than Mauricio Cienfuegos. Okay. So you can complete tall and taller. And you can, uh, El Salvador is smaller than Guatemala. Uh, El Salvador is warm, but Nicaragua is warmer. So Nicaragua is warmer than El Salvador. And like that, right? So then that's why it is important to, to know a lot of uh, adjectives, okay? So tomorrow we are going to... to finish the section three, but we will the have- The discussion box. We will have time to <clears throat> to make a review Teacher, of the three sections, yes? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes, tomorrow we have class. Uh, because, uh, remember that Monday we didn't have class, right? And then we need to have four classes every Every week, ahí en el chat creo que les pusieron de inglés corporativo el mensaje de que este viernes íbamos a sustituirlo por, por el lunes 2. Pero solo esta semana. Ok, solo esta semana. Next Son cuatro días nada más. Ajá, y es la otra semana volvemos a de lunes a jueves, right? Uh -huh. Así que tomorrow tendremos clases, se nos fue la fiesta. Ok, uh -huh. no problem. <laughs> ok, la vamos a proponer para el sábado, no problem. Okay, but then tomorrow we uh, tomorrow we're gonna finish this. We're gonna have a review, and then we are going to check the mid uh, midterm exam, right? Mm -hmm. Vamos a revisarlo, and then to see if you have any questions. Okay, and that's it. Okay, people. Thank, okay. You. Thank you very much for thank you, teacher, for tonight. connecting tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, you tomorrow. nine o'clock. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. bye.